That's neat. We have, we have moving components. Today's video is made possible through the support of Michael Loftus. If you like what you see and you want to be a part of it, check out the links below in the description and see how you can get involved and help support teaching people about robots. Thank you. Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden and welcome back to the shop for episode four on Project Archie, building a robot. And today, today's a big day. We get to do the last of the really big bearings and we get to dig in. There's a lot of screws and bolts involved in today. So just dig in. We're gonna start with the J2 turret. And this is a beautiful piece of machining. Look at that part. That took time engineering and not a small amount of love that that took work I like it so we're going to take a pair of 30206 bearings you'll have a pair of these in your kit 30206 these are the bearings you want and it's just like we did before we're going to take these and fit them into the sides where you want them and they snap right in in my case if they don't work check out episode 2 and learn the, the oven trick. But you can you can put this in an oven, put these in a freezer, and, and do a little heat shrinking. And if you do that, it's a pain in the butt, but you end up with a really super solid mount. So that's a cool place to be. These may come in and out as we progress through this because I gotta do a lot of other stuff to this. But now we've got our bearings in. These are the cores to the bearings, and we're just gonna set these aside for now because they'll just get in the way. Um, so. That was easy, that was cool. But wait, there's more. So, see all these holes down here? Yeah, that's where we're getting into stuff. So, we have this piece from before, and you'll see there's a very distinctive cross shape here, same shape on the bottom of here. So this flips over, so you've got the bolt up, and it's really easy to know exactly where these two interface because there's holes on the bottom in a, in a very unusual pattern. And then there's the two holes on the front. And you'll see there's two holes on the edge here. So the front holes go there, and then we line the cross up on the bottom. Now the bolts you want to use for this, this is for the, the J2 turret housing. You're going to need six M6 by 18 bolts. So an M6 by 18 bolt, if you throw it in your calipers, it's going to show up at about six, 5.9. Now when you measure the concave flathead bolts, you measure the whole thing, and there you go, 18 millimeters. So you're going to need six of those, and then you're going to need two M6 by 20 socket head cap screws. Now when you measure a socket head screw, you measure from the shoulder under the head down to the bottom, and there you go, we got 20. So two of these, six of these. Now when you put it together, don't just run them in and tighten them down. Because if you try doing them one at a time, run it in, tighten it all down, you're, you're gonna have a hard time getting them all in. And this is true of pretty much any mechanical assembly like this. It's called a boltment. So you put them all in just a little bit, nice and loose, just, just enough to get them engaged. Okay, you want, them, you want them in like one or two turns. And then we go around to here and we'll put in our M6 by 20s. Now these are recessed down in here. So to get them in right without cross threading them, get the right tool and spin it backwards and you'll feel it go chunk. Okay, and then go forwards. Just, just fingertip pressure, super light. And you want to bring those down to where they just stop going in. Like just, just not even close to tight. You're just running them down till they stop and then back off like a quarter turn. Okay, so those are still totally loose. And then go on top, and we're going to do the same thing with these. We'll just start running these down, and now you can run them down until, until they stop and not back them off. 
because since these are countersunk flathead bolts, these will push this around and align it perfectly where they want to be. But you got to get them all in before you do that. Now they're all in, now you can tighten it down. Now we're using aluminum here as a substrate and fine thread bolts. So don't like muscle these in super tight. You don't need to do that and you just risk stripping out bolts or stripping out threads. You don't want to do that. So just in, uh, one, one slight grunt of tightness. Now we'll tighten those down because these are all coming out again anyway because I'm going to lock tight everything. But for now, we're good there. So now we've bolted our turret base to our turret. And we've got our bearings in. So we've got all these in and those in. And now we get to do something cool. What we're going to do is we're going to bring this part back. Now, see the eight holes here and the eight holes here? We get to put this on top. And in doing that, this is stable from the bottom. It won't fall out the bottom, but this will, will fall out this way, right? So every, the bottom holds everything in. So the minute we attach this on here, this whole thing becomes one stable unit. And that's just exciting to me. And if you're building a robot, that should be exciting to you. So we're going to line that up. And we're going to grab eight M6, so that's the size, M6, by 14 millimeter socket head cap screws. And we're just going to just super loose, run them in. And you want to get all the bolts in position before you start tightening any of them. This is so cool. This is neat because this is the part where like we're, we're building an assembly. There's a lot of parts, a lot of bolts, a lot of things going on. This is neat. This, this excites me. Now this last one here, gonna have to use a wrench to get that one in. So you spin it backwards till you feel it click over the thing and then go forwards. And now that we got them all in, we can tighten them down a little bit. You do not have to tighten these in a cross pattern, it's just a habit. <laughs> Okay, now for the first time, when I pick this up, it all stays together. Look at that. We made a part! It moves! It does a thing! That's beautiful. That's so cool. We made a turret. Okay. Now, this row of bolts, we gotta do those. So this is where we grab our base. Now, on the side of the spindle here, there's our flat piece. Behind the flat piece, there's a hole, a threaded hole. That's one of them. This is the back of the robot towards the motor. This flat goes on this line. So this hole right next to the flat is the back hole. So set that on there like that, and then we're going to tip the whole thing up. And then just spin it to get your things to align. Now to put these together, you're going to use the J1 turret to base screws. And these are eight screws and they're M4 by 10. Now these are socket head cap screws. So remember you're measuring from the bottom of the head, not the whole head. Now 
I'm going to put one on opposite sides. Just makes it want to hold itself together a little bit. Okay, so they're all in finger tight. Now you're going to want a uh, three millimeter wrench. And since we've got them all in position, now we can run them down. Okay, so now they're all down. Now I'm just going to snug them down. And you don't you don't want to like just grab these like a 200 pound gorilla. Just just gentle. You got eight bolts holding that down. You don't you don't get any points for stripping out threads. And we're going to put thread locker on everything anyway. I'm not putting thread locker on at this stage because I'm not sure of myself on this stuff. Like, it's very likely we'll end up taking bits of this apart again. So, I'm just going to do, get to a point, be like, okay, that's all good, that's stable, we're done, and then take stuff out and put thread locker on it. That is so cool. And now, we can pick it up and parts move. And we have a whole thing. And that's cool. It's starting to look like a robot. That's neat. We have, we have moving components. So, the next step, you'll see on top here, if you look there, 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 and there, we have four little screw holes, and these want a set of M4 by 10 and the right wrench, which is two millimeter wrench. So M4 by 10 set screws. You'll also see these referred to frequently as grub screws because if you look at it, it looks like a little grub. And you just put those into, you feel it touch. And these are putting a little tension on the bearing assembly to get everything just tightened up a bit. It gets rid of backlash in the system. And, because well, slop, not backlash, but it gets rid of slop in the system. And if you tighten these down, you'll bind this up and nothing will move. So it's a balancing act of getting these to where things are moving properly. If it's, if it's too sloppy, these are too loose. And if they're too tight, it won't move at all. And look under it at the gap, and you can make sure that this is sitting parallel and good by looking in that gap. So, yeah, do it right, and that should just freely spin. That's beautiful. That's so cool. All right, guys. That's it for this one. We made a whole thing. We've got we got a whole moving assembly now. And finally, after all this work, we have something to like show for it. We're like, we I made a thing and it moves. I have I have done engineering. I am cool. Yeah. If you got to this point and you're super jazzed and you're really excited about yourself, shoot a quick video of it and post it below in the comments because nobody else is going to care, but I care and I'm proud of you and I think it's awesome that you made it this far. So share it with me and I will cheer you on. Even if the rest of the world is like, because if you show this to normal people, they're going to be like, because you'll be like, dude, look, I, it, does, it does a thing, I mean, a thing. And they're going to look at you and be like, that's very nice, Chris. We're, yes, okay, take out the trash. And, but see, you send this to me, I will totally cheer you on. Because if you made it this far, I know how much work you've put in to get to this point, and I know what you've done and, and how much effort that took. And I'm proud of you. I think you're awesome. So share your videos with me, and I will cheer you on. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden, and as always, we'll see you next time.
sync for camera one. Caterpillar loves you. Sync for camera two. Thrilling fucking video right here, mate. Thrilling.